coordinate geometry. Coordinate, coordinate geometry, uh, in definition, we say the set of number which is used to locate a point. We also have a set of a certain number, and we also have a set to locate a point. Uh, in definition, we say coordinate geometry is the set of number which is used to locate a point. The set of number which is to locate a point. For instance, we have a pair, maybe uh, x, comma y. In the set of number, I'm going to locate a graph in a zero position. Yeah, this point comma is that you are same gun. Compano, we also call me una 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 star. Y explain to come here in y axis and x axis. Then to come here. A po I mean, to a point, point is a little maybe point A. To cut to my power lambda, ni x2, y3. Now, Mr. Rich, to cut to a locate number. To cut to one, two, three is in the one y axis and x axis into one, two, three. The same, one, two, three. One, two, three. Is in a negative number. That's a to, to, to you locate your point. In a single point A is x2, y, y3. So x2, 2 positive, y3. Go to the intersection. Here is number. Go to the end of the to get after y. To get the opposite wing. Go in the intersection. Get ya y3 and x2. That's a e point. The point A. And more than that, 2, 3. That's a to me show number. Uh, in the set of number, in set of number, I'm about to try to locate a point. To me, from combining point A, we have an easy set of number. Go in the coordinate geometry. Ah, to carry a point, to carry a gradient or slope. To carry a number gradient, we have to put a foot gradient. That's the coordinate geometry. Gradient of a line. Gradient, to the same, gradient uh, simply either slope, either slope of a line. Gradient either slope of a line. Slope, um, funnel, as well as a slope, you don't want to make a come here in slope. Pia, when you got a slope, a mile, you may say, I make a car, you may make a composition. It's not in a slope, like it's not going to fall. When you graph, uh, Slope iki ka hivi, tunayitemu kama ni positive slope. Na tukio na graph ambao slope iki onikane mika hivi, tunayitemu kama hivi slope ni negative. Sasa gradient is all about slope, find the slope of a certain line. Na tunayazo tuka, 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 tuka angalia na magayana, tunayazo tuka tafuta gradient, tuka, tuka tafuta gradient uh, or slope of a line. Consider the, the equation maybe, unayazo kwa umepewa a point, labda, you have given the point, point A, which is x1, uh, comma y1, and point B is x2, comma y2. Find the slope of this point. Find the slope of the line of these two points. We also took a to cut in an Maybe in an answer, to now to graph comma y one two y axis x axis. That's a tunasema tuna point A ya mwoni x uh, x1, y1 na pia point B ina x2, y2. That's a tunasema tunasema maybe x1 iku hapa na x2 iku hapa. Pia tunasema y1 iku maybe hapa na y2 iku hapa. Is in point of y axis, na is in point of x axis. As to locate is a point, is in a set of data, or a set of number, or we can decide to locate a point. I can see to go interest in find the uh, the slope of this equation. Well, x one, to the same, to know to know x one and y one point a, here to x two, 
na y2 of point e, of point e b kwa tukiangalia tunasema gradient gradient au slope tuna abbreviate kama m kwa maana tunasema ni y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 uh, y1 i mean y2 minus y1 over maybe it will get here kwa hapa y2 minus y1 y1 and x2 minus x1 maana kile ni hapa tunakuwa na na na, na uh, tunaweza tukawa tuna slope labda ikawa imekaa imekata hivi zikata slope au imekata hivi sasa hii slope ili tuweze kuipata hii slope tunaitafuta hii slope tunataka tuangalie je formula yetu inaweza kukubali tunataka hii slope na hii slope ili tuipate maana yake hapa hapa kuna vertical line ambayo vertical line inakuwa corresponding with the y axis kwa data za vertical line hii itakuwa sawa sana y axis kwa tunaamini kabisa kwamba hapa tunaamini hapa kutokuwa na y2 likewise tukienda hapa tutakuwa na y1 sasa tunapotafuta hii slope tunasema ni sana changing of y axis over changing of x axis kwa hiyo itakuwa itakuwa slope m is equal to changing of y axis over changing of x axis change of y axis tunaipataje change of y axis is equal to y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 over change of x axis is equal to x2 minus x1 kwa hiyo formula tunaweza tusaidia kutafuta slope or gradient of a certain line uh, example example 1 maybe find the slope of a line which has the point a 2 3 and b is 3 to after slope a line from the formula solution uh, given data given data we have a point a which is 2,3 point b which is 3,4 now from the formula gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 now gradient or slope is equal to uh, y2 maybe is 4 minus y1 is 3 and x2 is 3 minus x1 is 2 now 4 3 we get 1 and 3 minus 2 we get 1 the slope is 1 cos slope of these two point a and b we get 1 stop to agree a formula na magari tunaweza kupata after mid point ambapo ni unknown number point b x comma y lakini tushaje kwamba distance hii ni sawa na distance hii kwa sababu hii mid point imekata au mstari ni nusu ya mstari kwa tutakuwa na distance ambapo distance inaweza ikawa ni y2 times y hapa minus y y2 minus y ah uh, sawa sawa na distance hii ambayo tutaipata kwa kuchukua y minus y1 tukiikweti hizi two equation itakuwa na y2 minus y is equal to y minus y1 is correct itakuwa na y2 plus y1 is equal to y plus y now y2 plus y1 is equal to 2 y divide by 2 itakuwa kwa y is equal to y2 plus y1 divide by 2 hii ni kesi ya kutafuta y kwa point ya y kinaweza tukaitumia formula hii na tukiangalia kwa x tutasema x2 ambayo ni hii hapa tunatoa na x kwa x2 minus x is equal to the distance ambayo itakuwa ni distance ambayo itakuwa ni x minus x1 kikweti hizi equation za x2 minus x is equal to x minus x1 ambayo ndio ni x2 plus uh, x1 is equal to x plus x now x2 plus x1 is equal to 2x divided by 2 x is equal to x2 plus x1 divided by 2 kwa hiyo ni formula kutafuta x na hii ni formula kutafuta y kwa therefore formula itakuwa ni hivi therefore formula formula ya yeah, mid point the formula of mid the formula of mid point is 
uh, p x comma y to be of x comma y is equal to the formula of x which is 2 x2 two minus plus x1 over 2 comma in the point x I'm on here uh, y2 plus y1 divided by 2 go in the formula of midpoint I'm going to get to me put a footer the midpoint distance between two point distance between two point na tafuta distance kati ya point B tuko uh, tuangalie graph yetu inakuwa y axis hapo inakuwa na x axis ah uh, huu mstari unaweza kuwa na point hapa na unaweza kuwa na point hapa maybe point itakuwa ni itakuwa ni maybe point A ambayo ni x x1 comma y1 pia hapa ni point B ambayo ni uh, x2 comma comma y2 is point ambazo tukizijoin maybe hapa kutakuwa na hiyo x1 na hapa kutakuwa na x2 ambayo tukizijoin is point tunapata mstari wa namna hii hapa sasa tuna tunatafuta distance ni yetu tutafuta distance between two point hii ni point A hii ni point B kwa hiyo ni point A na hii ni point B distance kati yao tuta tutatafuta mstari hapa tutengeneze tutengeneze umbo ambao itakuwa ni right angle triangle right angle triangle tunangalia distance kati yao lakini tunajua di, urefu huu kutoka hapa uh, ambao unakuwa along the y axis is equal to y2 minus y1 kwa distance hii is equal to y2 minus y1 pia distance hiyo is equal to x2 minus x1 kwa sisi leo tutafute hii distance hii distance tutaipata by using Pythagoras Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem Tutumia Pythagoras theorem tafuta hii distance D kwa sababu tutakuwa na distance hapa na tutakuwa na distance hii kwa hiyo tutaelete hii kama distance na itakuwa ni D D square ni hypotenuse d square is equal to y2 minus y1 square uh, plus x2 x2 minus x1 square kwa utakuwa na vitu kama iba kiondoa hii e square itabuja kuwa ni d is equal to y2 minus y1 square plus x2 minus x1 square lakini tutaweka ana root kwa sababu tuliondoa square ya d kwa hiyo ndio formula ambayo tutakuwa tunaitumia ndio formula ambayo tutakuwa tunaitumia kutafuta the distance between two point in the straight line kwa hiyo the formula the formula itakuwa ni d is equal to ana root y2 minus y1 uh, plus x2 minus x1 square kwa hiyo hizi kutoka na root y2 uh, minus y1 square plus x2 minus x1 square in the form of the of the distance along the uh, the straight line slope of parallel lines tunataka so, slope katika parallel lines tuangalie slope ya parallel lines na kuaje uh, slope tunasema slope katika parallel lines is not always the same parallel lines is not always the same slope so to prove in a Kusema Pare lines na kuwa na the same slope Kwa hiyo M1 slope 1 is equal to M2 M1 is equal to M2 Slope 1 is equal to slope 2 2 Kwa hiyo consider A diagram na tengeneza graph ya namna hii inakuwa na y axis and x axis sasa tunakuwa na two line za namna hii tunakuwa na straight line ambayo itakuwa imepita hivi pia tuna straight line ambayo inaweza ikapita hivi 
Ini tukitwa line 1 Ini tukitwa line 2 Tasa, tukizijoin is line Maybe tuka Tukizijoin kwa Kwa kuju, tukizijoin hivi Tukizijoin hivi Tukatengeza Right angle triangle bili Amba utokuwa na right angle triangle Ya kwanza mbo tunazo tuka inemu kama A, B, C Pia ya pili ya mbo tunazo tuka inemu kama B, E Kwa tuna right angle triangle A, B, C Na right angle triangle D, E, C Hizi ni two right angle triangle Kiangaria angle E ni corresponding angle na angle E wapu E 90 degree ni common kwa two right angle triangle Na tukiangaria hapo tokuwa na angle ambo ni corresponding angle Na angle ya, I mean, angle hii hapo mbatezo kuita nidi angle theta Is corresponding angle na angle ya hapa Kwa zina kwa zina panana Hii tunezo tukaita gamma na hii tukaita gamma Kwa hizi ni corresponding angle Kwa zina kwa zina zina panana Kwa hii triangle, triangle A I mean, triangle A, B, C Ni equal similar, it is similar with triangle D Triangle D C E By Engo 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 Theory By Engo Engo Theory Kwa tunakuwa na this Engo Engo Zote Ziko Corresponding E Corresponding na E Na E Corresponding na E Na E 90 degree Amoni Common Kwa 2 Triangle Tunataka tuangalie To prove Kwa mba J Slope yao itakuwa watakuwa na the same slope Tunaangalia kwa sabi zini ni ziko similar triangle Tunaangalia ratio Ratio tunasema A Tunasema Distance AB Tukigawanya Na distance DE DE Ni sawa sawa kwa sabi zini similar angle Na similar right angle triangle ni sawa sawa na distance A, C Tukigawanya na distance ambayo ni D, C Pia tu Ni sawa sawa Ni sawa sawa na distance B, C Tukigawanya na distance E, E, C Kwa sabu hizi ni similar right triangle triangle Tasa Tuangalie kwa mba distance Distance A, C, ni sawa sawa na distance, tukigawanya na distance B, C, inakuwa sawa sawa na distance B, C, distance B, C, divide by distance E, C. Kwa mba distance A, distance A, C, tukigawanya na distance, distance B, C, inakuwa sawa sawa na distance B, C, divide by distance E, C. C. Kwa sabu hizi ni similar Similar right angle triangle Tunazo tuka 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 cross multiplication ya po Au tuka exchange kwa mba E C ikali katuwa na fasi ya A C Na A C ili katuwa na fasi ya E C Tunakuwa tujarimu maana Kwa hita kuwa ni E C Over D C Distance is equal to Kigawanya tukwa na ratio ya sasa na D Ami utakuwa utakuwa sana na ratio mo ni B C distance divided by A C distance. Kwa yu AC distance divided by DC distance is equal to BC distance divided by AC distance. Tukiangalia hapa AC AC distance that mean EC distance EC distance tukigawanya na DC tukigawanya na DC manake itakuwa sawa sawa na mtu wakichukua BC distance amoni BC distance divided by AC distance divided by AD distance Kwa hivyo, kama tukiona tunakuwa na the same, ukichua distance hii, kwa gawanya na distance hii, inakuwa sawa sawa na mtu akachua distance, sawa sawa na mtu akachua distance, distance BC ambo ni D2, na akagawanya na distance ya kutoka hapa mbaka hapa, ambo nesu tukaita maybe, maybe tukaita X1, X2. Kwa hapa tuna distance hapo ni x1 na hapo na distance x2 Kwa tukichua distance d1 tukagawanya na distance x1 
tunapata jibu sawa sawa na mtu atakayechukua distance d2 akanya distance x2 maana yake nini kwamba maana yake slope zao zitakuwa the same kama tukana na na, na, na na distance sawa na distance sawa tukitafuta by using by using Pythagorean theorem maana tutakuwa na distance the same tutakuwa na slope the same na hapa tunakuwa na slope the same kumbuka hii ni m1 na hii ni hii ni m2 kwa hiyo tuna m1 slope 1 na slope 2 kwa kama ratio zao zinatupa effect moja maana yake mistari yao itakuwa the same kwa kama mistari ni the same maana yake na slope inakuwa the same kwa hapo tutakuwa tumesha prove hence prove d that slope 1 is equal to slope 2 the slope of the line 1 is equal to the slope of line 2 stop perpendicular line two lines are said to be perpendicular if they form 90 degree to each other kwa perpendicular lines is na kwa zina tunaita kwamba hizi ni perpendicular line kwa sababu zina uwezo wa form 90 degree kati yao pale kwa kuna kuna intersection basi zinatengeneza 90 degree mfano tunaweza tukatengeneza graph ambayo inakuwa na two lines ambazo zime intersect na zimetengeneza perpendicular kwa hizi lines zime intersect na zime form 90 degree to each other hii 90 degree ni ya line hii ndazo kita baby line 1 pia hii tukaita line 2 zote zina kuwa na 90 degree katikati maana zime, zime cross to each other kila moja ime cross kwa mwezi hii ni y axis ni x axis misteri yetu ni yu kuna line 1 ene line 2 tasa tuna, 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 tuna hii ni point na hii ni point hapa kuna point of course na hapa kutokuwa na point tunaweza tukatengeneza tunaweza tuka tukatengeneza right angled triangle na hapa pia tukatengeneza right angled triangle Tuna right angle triangle ambayo imekuwa formed katika line 2 na kuna right angle triangle ambayo imekuwa formed katika line 1. Tunataka to prove the formula of finding the slope katika perpendicular line. Tunaangalia je, slope tunaipata vipi kama mitia na kama kama, kama mistari ikiwa ni perpendicular lines. Hapa tunaweza tukaita maybe ni uh, ni y3 hapa tukaita maybe y2 pointini y2 pointini y3 pointi pia itakuwa ni y2 y3 na pointi itakuwa ni y2 hapa tutakuwa na point maybe tuita x1 hapa tutakuwa na point hapa itakuwa ni x2 uh, pia na hapa tutakuwa na point ambao ni x3 hizo ni pointi zetu ambao zipo ambazo zinaweza tuzika tusaidia tuna prove hii formula ambayo tunasema uh, katika perpendicular line slope tunakuwa the product of slope of line 1 and line 2 is equal to negative 1 tuna prove je hii namna gani tuna tuna kupata hii formula ambayo inasema the slope of line 1 times the slope of, of line 2 is equal to negative 1 tunakuwa na 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 na, na, na hizi two triangle right angled triangle Tuna, hapa pia kutakuwa na engo, hapa pia kutakuwa na engo. Hapa kuna engo, hapa kutakuwa na engo. Hii nazo tukaita engo alpha, hii tukaita engo theta. Tunawana kuna 90 degree. Hapa nazo tukaita maybe, tukai name to you, tukaita blabla engo. I mean B, hapa tukaita A, hapa C, maybe hapa tukai name tukaita engo D. Tuna 90 degree, tuna 90 degree, tuna 90 degree. Tunajua kwamba hii ni u, u, hii ni straight line. Hii ni straight line ambayo inakuwa ime consist 180 degree. Tunajaribu ku prove je, hizi hizi right angle triangle zitakuwa ziko similar? Hii kama zikiwa similar ndio tutakuwa tuna uwezo ku prove hii formula yetu vizuri. Kwa hiyo kivipi hii triangle tunaweza tuka prove? Tunasema kwamba A plus Hapa kuna 90 degree, maana yake hii ni straight line. Hii straight line ime compose 180 degree. Kwa hiyo imebakia ngapi hapo tuna tuna, tuna tuna 90 degree imebakia ngapi ili tuweze kupata tukijumlisha na 90 degree tuweze kupata 180 degree maana yake imebakia 90 degree kwa hivyo basi 
uh, angle hii ambayo tumenema kama A ukijumlisha na angle B maana yake lazima itatuletea jibu ni 90 degree pia hapa tuna 90 degree hapa tuna angle ambayo tulifahamu hapa na tuna angle ambayo tulifahamu lakini hii ni right, right angle triangle ambayo jumla ina 180 degree kwa hivyo basi kilichobakia hapa ili tu add na 90 degree tutatupate 180 degree maana yake imebakia ni 90 degree kwa hivyo basi A plus D pia sawa sana 90 degree hii tunaweza tuita equation 1 hii tunaita equation 2 chukua equation 1 equation 1 to make subject A I mean to make subject A to make subject B maana yake kwa B is equal to 9, 90 degree minus A hii ni equation 3 ah tukichukua equation 2 tutakuwa na ile ambayo tuki make subject D tutakuwa na equation 4 ambayo itakuwa equation 4 itakuwa ni D is equal to 90 degree minus what minus A hii ni equation 4 sasa tumeona kwamba B is equal to 90 degree minus A pia D is equal to 90 degree minus A hii maana yake nini maana yake angle B ni sawa sawa na angle D kwa sababu zote tukitoa na tukichukua 90 minus a tunapata b and 90 minus a tunapata d kwa kama angle angle b sawa sana angle d maana yake kwamba is angle i mean is triangle zitakuwa similar kwa sababu tutakuwa na angle hii iko correspond ipo i mean ime, iko the same na angle hii pia hapo tuna 90 degree ambayo itakuwa ni the same na angle hii kivyo vyote vile lazima angle moyo imebakia c na angle a lazima zitakuwa ziko the same kwa sababu itakuwa ni common angle. Kwa asi kumbe therefore uh, triangle right angle triangle right angle di triangle maybe tutanema kwa a b c d e right angle triangle a e d is similar to right angle di triangle d c d by what by angle angle theorem kwa tuna angle moja tunatonesha kwamba hizi hizi right angle triangles iko similar sasa vipi tunaweza tuka tuka tuka, tuka prove formula yetu formula yetu tunaweza ku prove au kutafuta slope of line 1 and the slope of line 2 consider the slope consider the slope of line 1 consider the slope of line 1 slope always tunasema gradient or slope is equal to changing of y over changing of x now slope of line 1 itakuwa changing of y maana yake itakuwa is equal to y3 minus y2 and changing of x uh, itakuwa ni x3 minus x2 ni x3 x3 minus x2 tutakuwa tumeshapata slope ya line 1 consider the slope the slope of uh, of line of line 2 of line 2 consider the slope of line 2 i mean slope of line 2 is equal to changing of y which is y3 minus y2 changing of y uh, over changing of x which is what uh, x2 i mean change of x kwa sababu hii slope hii ya line 1 ni positive lakini slope ya line 2 ni negative kwa sababu imetengeneza position kama hii kwa hiyo hapo basi itakuwa ni hatachukua x2 minus x1 isipokuwa itakuwa ni x1 minus x2 kwa sababu hapa slope ni positive ya mini negative sasa tunapochukua x1 minus x2 umoja kwamba x1 ni itakuwa ni value ndogo na x2 itakuwa ni value kubwa maana hapa tukitoa tukitoa hapa tutapata negative kwa hiyo basi kumbe the slope of line 2 lazima itakuwa negative kwa hapa jibu tutapata a certain value of slope ambayo ni negative tunakuwa na tunakuwa na negative slope now hivi tumesema ni right angle triangle ambayo ziko similar ni right angle triangle ambayo ziko similar kwa maana ziko similar maana yake nini tukichukua ratio tukiconsider ratio zao consider the ratio i mean consider the ratio the r of two right angle 
triangle consider the ratio of two right angle triangle ambayo tuna right angle triangle a a d a e d na right angle triangle d c d ratio zao tunachukua kwamba tutasema tukichukua d e tukichukua d e divide by a uh, divide by a a e b e divide by a e is equal to b c divide by b c kwa tukichukua ratio ya hizo right angle triangle tunasema kwamba e d o d e over a e b e over a e is equal to the ratio of e d over a e is equal to b c b c over c d sasa tumetafuta kwamba the slope of line 1 ambayo ni hiyo hapo tumepata slope yetu ni hiyo hapo slope tulisema ni y3 over minus y2 y3 minus y2 divided by y x3 minus x2 na hii ratio ni ya for line 1 ratio hii ni kwa right angle triangle ambayo imetokeana kwenye line 1. Na ratio hii ni right angle triangle kwa line 2. Lakini hapa tumebadilisha. Tumeenda na hapa 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 tuli hapa tume, tume, tumechukua BC BC over CD lakini hapa tumechukua ED over AC kwa sababu yani kwa sababu hii ni imete, hii ni negative. Imetengeneza slope ambayo ni negative. Kwa hivyo basi tuta 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 hizi tuta, 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 two, two equation of slope. Tutachukua ya kwanza ambayo hapa tutaandika x1 minus x2 divide by y3 minus y2 nimeipindua hii kwa sababu hata kuresha zake ni kama tumesipindua kwa sababu slope hapa ni negative pia tunachukua slope ya line 1 ambayo inasema y3 minus y2 divide by divide by uh, x3 minus x2 hapa slope ni positive hii ni slope ya slope ya 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 line i mean ya ya tuseme inaweza kaita mimi dini right angle triangle x right angle triangle y kwa hii ni slope ya right angle triangle x na hii ni slope of right angle triangle y tumepindua hapa slope yake slope ilikuwa hivi lakini tumepindua kwa maana hiyo basi slope itakuwa ni reciprocal tuna ile reciprocal maana yake slope kazi tunajua kwamba hii ni, ni slope of right angle triangle x ambayo tumesema inakuwa slope yake ni negative na ile slope ya right angle triangle y ambayo yenyewe ni positive sasa tume 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 reciprocal tumepindua vari za x zimeenda u vari za x ambazo zilikuwa ziko chini zimekuwa na za y zimerudi chini maana yake tumeifanyia reciprocal lakini hii slope yake ni negative kwa hivyo basi itakuwa hivi itakuwa ni negative 1 over gradient or the slope of line 2 is equal to gradient of line 1 tuki multiply tukizidisha hapo tunapata negative 1 is equal to slope of line 1 times slope of line 2 kwa hiyo ndio formula ambayo tunaitumia kutafuta slope of perpendicular lines maana the product of two au the product of two slope of perpendicular lines is equal to negative 1 i'll okay. uh, find the equation of the straight line passing through the point which is negative 4,2 and perpendicular to the line whose equation is x plus 2y is equal to bigger solution tunika solution first of all given data <coughs> given tumepewa point ambayo inasema negative 4,2 na tumepewa equation ambayo ni x plus 2y is equal to 4 sasa tutengeneza equation hii katika katika form of form of y is equal to m x plus c the form of equation kwa hapa itakuwa ni 2y uh, negative 4 negative x 
plus 4 divided by 2 tabuja kwa ni y is equal to negative x over 2 plus 4 over 2 manake tuki simplify tabuja kwa y is equal to negative a half x plus 2 tasa tunajua kabisa kwamba em inasama kwa jiri ya ya slope na hapa tuna 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 half negative na tuna x maana ke slope itakuwa ni hii tunaweza kaita maybe the equation of line e, equation of line 2 na hii the point of line 1 kwa hivyo basi the slope of line 2 itakuwa ni slope of line 2 itakuwa ni negative a half ambayo hiyo hapo lakini tunajua hii katika formula from the formula of perpendicular lines tunasema the product of two slope of, I mean the product of two slope and both is a slope with a perpendicular line is equal to negative uh, negative one. However, but in the slope of of line two, like in the of the slope of line one, the same the slope of line one uh, to nice addition are negative a half is equal to one negative. Abu Tabuani slope negative is equal to negative two. It was slope is equal to 2, which is positive. Or slope of line 1 is 2, positive. Now, from the equation, from the formula of equations, the formula of equation, gradient is equal to y minus y1 and x minus x1. Now, m, which is then for gradient, the gradient we have 2 is equal to uh, y minus y1. y1 is 2 over x minus x1 which is negative 4 na tukiweka hapo manake itakuwa ni positive 4 tuna zidisha ambayo itakuwa ni 2 ni bracket x plus 4 is equal to y minus 2 now x2 is equal to 8 i mean x2 plus 8 is equal to y minus negative 2 y is equal to 2x plus 8 plus 2 now y is equal to 2x plus 10.